So what would you build if you had all of these crazy pro drivers? Man, what could you build? Well, let's see. I could build an insanely large, loud speaker. For sure, I could do that. I could actually make several sets of speakers. I could probably build a really wicked home theater. Well, what am I going to do with all these drivers? We've got two 18-inch Eminence Mega Pro 18A. I've got four 15-inch Kappa 15 LFA. And then these other ones is the Delta 10A. I think this is the mid-base driver. And then an Eminence PSD 2002-8 compression driver. Yeah, so apparently this guy had uh, he had planned on building a like a wave speaker. He said he'd found some plans online and wanted to buy uh, all the parts to make this wave speaker, big giant speakers. And uh, so it was a project that he started, but you know didn't finish. So that's uh, how I found these. Is, you know, he they were just taking up room. He knew that they wouldn't last forever. So, you know, you put them online and uh, yeah, I was like, hey, I'm interested. <laughs> so, ran out there and got them. I've personally never uh, worked with speakers of this caliber. Like one time, one time I was working with, uh, I believe they were Selenium Pro Drivers. And those were pretty good too, but these are, these are over the top as far as like what I'm used to. But, uh, no, the Eminence brand is pretty well known. So I can probably just kind of drop the uh, specs right here. So the Eminence 18 is a monster speaker. The Kappa 15s, those specs and graph. The Delta 10A, those specs and graph. And then this crazy tweeter. Big old compression driver. I think the lens is actually kind of a cheaper one. And he only got, he only sold me one. He only had one. But uh, those are easy to come by and kind of specific to whatever project you're building. So I'm not too worried about that. But there is two compression drivers. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the Eminence PSD 2002-8. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Oh, ho, 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 man. You know it's a good speaker when it comes with instructions. Oh, man, that's a thing of beauty. Wow. I guess that's just a one inch speaker, but look at the size of that motor. Oh, man. I mean, seriously, what were these things designed for? Wow. Yeah. I could probably build a set of speakers, just call them insanity because <laughs> they would <laughs> drive everybody in the neighborhood insane. Um, wow, yeah, that's a lot of gear. Yeah, so what to make, I don't know. I'm gonna be thinking about this a lot because there's a lot you could do with that. I could picture a home theater system with the 18s, you could use those as your subwoofers. I've got four 15 inch drivers, so that could feasibly be, you know, left and right front and left and right rear. Got four of these 10 inch mid base drivers. So conceivably I could probably make kind of satellite style speakers, more like that mini Mach one that I made with the pro driver. What? One, two, maybe two of them for Atmos. Let's see, I've got one other compression driver upstairs. So I could probably make a center channel with the mid base driver. And then I could use these ones left and right. So two compression drivers, front, right, and left. I could even build, you know, big giant three-way speakers too. I could do, say, the 18, the 10, and the compression driver, or I could do a 15, a 10, and a compression driver, 
or I could do all four. I could do a four way. I could do, <laughs> I think that'd be a little bit too much over the top. All right, so you guys out there, I know I got some sharp guys out there watching this channel. What would you do with all these speakers? No, don't say throw them in the garbage. Don't say sell them on Craigslist. <laughs> no, no. What would you build with them? Would you build some insanely huge speaker? I want you guys to drop your comments down below. Put your suggestions in there. Tell me what you would build with these or what you've seen built with speakers like this in the past. Any maybe current designs that are out there. Uh, this is all I've got right now is drivers. So there's no crossovers, cabinets, anything like that. So this is a pretty much a kind of a clean slate project. And yeah, I'm interested to know what you think I should make out of these. Omega Pro 18A, Kappa 15 LFA, Delta 10A, and the compression driver, the PSD 2002.